Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. We've got a beautiful day here to do a video, and we have a beautiful camper to video as well. It's a 2023 Lance 975. This one comes in weighing around 4,104 pounds as shipped with all the options. We'll go over all the options here in a minute. So this camper right here, being how heavy it is, you're gonna to wanna to be in a long bed dually when you uh, haul this one. Lance advertises that you can put these in a single rear wheel. I'm assuming that that's because they start, start out around the 3,600 pound range, but I don't know anybody with a 3,600 pound Lance, uh, 975 anyways. They all load them up, you know, dual solar panels, Sultra deck generator, and you add all that stuff, you're nowhere close to 3,600. So uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what truck you're going to need. I would suggest a long bed dually for this one, whatever your preference is, Ford, Ram, Chevrolet, whatever. Um, price on this thing, we'll go ahead and hit that right off the rip. Total MSRP is $86,506. You can start out at $70,625, but if you, oh, wow. That paper really wanted to get friendly with the camera. Here, we'll go this way. I don't even know what I was just saying, but yeah, the MSRP is $86,506. That's not what I sell them at. You'll have to call in at 423-892-6272 to get the BSRP pricing. That's Brad's suggested retail. But we're gonna start out on the inside of this one, do it a little different. Okay, so immediately when you walk in this thing, you got the basement pullout door. Look how big that is this is uh, I actually owned one of these in the past this is where I put all my uh, fishing tackle over here to the right say you're hanging out with the boys or the girls over here at the campsite got the awning out the light on everything got the fire going you don't have to go all the way to the being loud over there you don't have to go all the way to the little campground uh, trash can you got one built in right when you walk in soft slam doors or soft close whatever you want to call it got your key rack right here and of course i don't have my keys on on my uh, person right here but uh you got all of your exterior lights entry light docking lights backup camera switch slide out switch everything's right here when you walk in very convenient to get to we'll start out in the kitchen area so just take a look at that kitchen it's a uh, pretty good size uh, it was definitely more than enough for me to, you know, cook my fish in the oven and then all my ramen noodle nights that I had in the uh, microwave there. It's just your standard size microwave. Runs on AC, of course. Got your three burner stove top over here. This lifts up for easy clean. It actually pulls all the way out. Uh, over here, below it, it's going to be your oven. Plenty big enough for a little DiGiorno pizza. A little bit of countertop space, not much prep area, but that's what you have the uh, little table over there for. Or if you're like me, a campground cooker, you go outside, use, use the little flat top for uh, cooking all your pancakes and bacon and stuff, hamburgers, they're good for that too. So when you're not using this for like a more prep area, you can take these little sink covers out right here. They both lift up. It's a single uh, bowl sink. So you can do your dishes and stuff in there, wash your hands, whatever you wanna use the sink for, it's there for you. Nice and modern looking. And if you do need more prep area, throw that back in there. Plenty of space over here for like a crock pot, Instapot, Keurig, whatever. Got your little AC plug in up there. Some storage space next to the microwave. This is where I threw all my, you know, paper plates and uh, silverware and uh, red solo cups and stuff can't have open containers at some of the campgrounds I stayed at so you got to hide it you can't just not drink so over here you have your Jensen radio pretty sure that's still not a uh, blu-ray but you know I think Lance is starting to get the point got our little truma system here I'll actually show you this system in the other camper I have over there getting ready it's a 975 that's sold but I'll go through this and show you how quiet the generator and the AC unit is and everything. 
Got your control panel here, the little convenience center. You can check your battery, fresh water, black water, gray water levels. On the uh, tank levels, you're gonna have 45 gallon fresh water, uh, 30 gallon gray water, and 26 gallon black. Then of course you got your little water pump right over here to the right. If you're going to pull from that fresh water tank. Generator switch, you can crank it from inside or outside. Got our carefree awning here on the side that's auto. It has the auto wind sensing built in, so if it gets too windy, it's gonna roll itself back in. The rear one, you do have to hold down. You can't just click it conveniently. You do have to hold it down, but it's a lot better than you know having to manually do it. Uh, and then light switches for both awnings. Underneath the sink, quite a bit of storage space here. This is where I put all my cleaning stuff, like a, you know your kitchen cleaner sprays and bathtub cleaner sprays and stuff like that forgot what it's actually called what i use like it's the windex version or whatever but anyways your cleaners that's where i put mine the uh, microfiber towels and extra paper towels and stuff napkins got a little bit more storage below this is going to be where i stored all of my potato chips Doritos and extra cases of beer and stuff. You can take these out for more room. Uh, you can even, like, uh, a lot of people like the slide out pantry idea. You can get these baskets off of Amazon, load them up, shove them in there, and then pull them out just like a slide out pantry. Works the same way. This is where we get our true camper weights 4,493 pounds wet, and you subtract, where is it, 413 pounds to get your dry weight. Then, like in fine lettering somewhere in here, it says they could be as much as like 150 pounds more because they don't total in equipment under 20 pounds or something like that. So, interesting. There's our pull-out drawer. These pull out sideways, not where the handle's like that. Get people all the time trying to rip these things out. Right here, this is what somebody told me is a designated liquor cabinet, so, or whiskey, wine. Might be able to fit a wine bottle in there. All right. Here is our dinette. So this actually does make into a bed. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, if you want to make it into a bed, you're looking at 44 by 78 inches. You know, when it was me and my brother going, of course I wasn't letting them up in the bed with me. So I always made this down into a bed and kicked them out on it. So, um, sorry, Brandon, but you can use it as a dinette. I've had as much as like six people in my 975 when it was raining. So you got plenty of room here for everybody. You want to play cards there or whatever, you can do it. You want to eat. A lot of people like to eat. You can eat there. These also have little pull-out drawers. You just hit this button right here. Boom. Pull out. That unlocks it. Same with the other one. Then hit that to lock it back. This interior color, you may be wondering what it's called. This is going to be your bronzite option. So you got gray, gray, brown, brown. Brown down here too. Same on the other side. Got this nice, sick diamond stitching look there. I think that's really fancy, decorative, whatever. Uh, on the windows, you got your nightshade and your day shade. These windows, I love them. They are the acrylic double pane windows and they kick out insanely far, letting a lot more light in, uh, natural light and, you know, not like the beer, I'm talking like, you know, sunlight. And then natural airflow as well. Just about every window does it. That one, the one in the kitchen. This one does not because you got a nice view of the ladder and the slide out one over here does not have it because it's not one of those windows. Uh, you got you a nice little mood light over here so you can set the mood with your SO and stuff or, you know, whatever, just forget I said anything. But uh, yeah, two lights that are controlled by the switch there and then these, not, not that one, these right here have little switches on the side of them. Of course, I have zero power to this camper so nothing's going to come on. Over here, you've got your max air fan. It's got the rain sensing built in. It's an automatic fan. Uh, and it's got the built-in clips, which I'll show you here when we get on top of the roof where you can just bolt down those Max Air fan covers. I think they're the Max Air 2s, the ones that are actually rated for these. 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it over here, other than a couple of USB and DC outlet and then two 110 plugs. Nice little cork board here with an exposed staple in the middle there. Does anybody actually use these? I'm curious. You've got your refrigerator over here, six cubic foot fridge. It is separated. So you've got your fridge down here and your freezer up top. I've got a phone call. I'll be right back. I'm pretty sure this is where I left off, but uh, these fridges are three way. So you got gas, AC, and DC that these run on. DC is going to suck the batteries dry. So AC and gas is what I usually ran mine on. Close that. I don't think we hit this. This is going to be your 27 inch TV. It's a DC TV. It swings out towards the bed area and back towards the dinette. So from over here, this is the look you're getting. Got to be on the far side or left side of the bed to be able to see it. Might be able to see it from over there. I don't know. I never slept over there. You got the mirror back in the uh, 2023 model check yourself out and all got a mirror there hey some countertop space over here but this is going to be your dry bath model you've got the 975 1062 and 1172 as your dry bath models got plenty of leg room for your knees i would know since i had one pull out drawer over here 110 outlets you can run your hair dryers if you got one or i'm sure your wife does toilet paper holster and over here's the Truma Aqua Go. That is your tankless water heater, by the way, the Truma Aqua Go. Over here is going to be your shower. Got built-in holders there for your shampoos and stuff. Up in the bed area, it's a 60 by 80 inch mattress, so it is a true queen size. Everybody asked me if they're comfortable. I thought that they were fine. You know, I threw my sleeping bag on top since, you know, these are pretty much impossible to make the bed in. So, uh, yeah, little sleeping bag on top and I was ready to hit the hay. You got a closet on the left side here. There's our TV box. Clothes rod. You've got a little flip up drawer or a cabinet over here 110 outlet on the right and on the left so the CPAP users you got them on both sides countertop with a pull out drawer fire escape as I always say I'm taking my chances running out the front Chuck Norris style nice skylight so your feet can see the stars Ooh, handle with some like sandpaper on it quite nice jacket holder but I uh, think I pretty much hit everything in here I want to take you to the other camper that way you can see how quiet this AC is okay so I actually have the Onan 2500 watt generator on it's uh, running off the propane tanks that are on the camper this one has two and listen to it purr see if this is on. No, it's not. Okay. Well, anyways, it's the Onan, uh, let's see, Onan QG 2500 ILP. It's supposed to be within the National Park's uh, decimal range. It's definitely a whole lot quieter than they used to be. Now, uh, check this out. I'm going to turn this guy on. Boom. Heater. Nope. AC. Yes. Cool. Let's put on a good 69 degrees. Listen to this thing. Yes, it's on. Can't even hardly hear it. I mean, you can hear it, but it's like a third of what they used to be. This is the Truma Aventa Air, and it's got a built-in dehumidifier on it, which is quite awesome. You don't have to carry one around with you anymore to take care of the humidity inside. It's got a remote to it where you can control it by remote, but it's insanely quiet. It's on. I did turn it on, I promise. Here we are on the roof. Look at this. Look how high we are. Um, anyways, 
I hope you enjoyed our little field trip over there. I just wanted to show you guys how quiet that stuff is now. But uh, this new roof is like insanely like gritty. It feels so durable. Lance has a 20 year roof warranty, which is awesome. Uh, but options that you would see up here that are not standard is gonna be the Lance crossbar system here. So you can tie down like kayaks and all that cool stuff up here. What I wanted to tell you about while or, or show you while I was inside there, you get those little Max Air Fent covers. I think it's the Max Air 2s, and they just clip right in. Now, on that bugger, you still got to drill out the sides of it, but on this one, it's already got the mounts, so that's awesome. But the purpose of that is so you can run it while it's raining or run it while going down the road without the lids flying off. Um, also, up here, these are not standard you can get up to two solar panels through the factory they are uh, two 100 watt a piece solar panels i don't know why they can't put the 190s up here uh, maybe they're bigger but i don't know you still got room up there you still got room back here yeah i don't know they probably have an explanation for it but i'd have to ask you got the uh, awning slide out cover. This is an added option, but I wouldn't order a camper without it. Nobody wants to just continuously get up here and sweep off the top of the slide of pine needles and all that crap whenever you're wanting to slide in the slide. That'll, you know, protect the top of the slide and, you know, longevity, make it last longer. And then you got the good old Truma Aventa air unit here with the built-in dehumidifier. That's what I just ran for you over there. All right. I'm going to get back down. All right, if you're still watching, you've made it this far. Might as well keep going unless you don't want to. It is what it is, right? So uh, on this, you have the, like I was saying inside, you have the dual pane uh, acrylic style windows. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I'm one of the guys that likes them. So reason being is look how far these things open up. Your glass ones would only come out like yay far, like right here. And they had that permanent bug screen. This is optional. So... I like the uh, more freedom that you have with this style window. Sure, they scratch easier, but glass bursts. I've seen it, so, you know, it happens. Uh, anyways, on the front of this, you've got electric jacks around all four corners. In case you run into battery failure or whatnot, you still have an override system. You turn that notch down, and I did trim my fingernails today down to nothing, so look at me try to pop this thing off. There we go. Anyways, you get your crank out, pack a sandwich, and get to cranking. Or you can use that adapter that they supply you with and throw it in a drill and drill them up and down. But this does need to be in the down position. Up, you're going to be able to use the remote. You'll notice that the, we have these on swing outs. It's so you can park them fat butts underneath them, the dualies. And look at all that room you got. Like I said, we prefer these on dualies just because of the weight. More meat on the ground, the better. Then you got your little lance plug off to the side here. This plugs into the side of the bed. We install this here for you. No extra charge. Uh, let's see. What do we want to start with next? You got your two um, RV, or not RV, uh, refrigerator access doors. This is where your batteries go. When you buy from us, you get two batteries, not one. If the camper calls for two batteries, we put two batteries in it. We're using uh, the Deep Cycle DECA batteries really good brand i'm sure you've heard about them uh let's see got a little pocket door over here it's not huge but this is where i put like my surge protector and leveling blocks and stuff like that that lance suggests not to use uh, and then you have the patio lights all all corners have the patio lights all your campground connections are going to be on this side you got your 30 amp connection this is going to be where your liquid waste, body waste, so that's going to be your gray tank and that's going to be your black tank. Like I said earlier, you got a 45 gallon uh, freshwater tank, a shoot, 30 gallon gray water tank, and a 26 gallon black water tank. Gray water is like your sink, shower, body waste. I think that's pretty self explanatory. It's going to be toilet water. Parking satellite connections, main battery disconnect. Water tank drain, that's your fresh water tank drain. Cold and hot water lines. Outdoor shower for all my people that like to give their fellow campers a show. 
It's actually what I used to, you know, rinse the dog's feet off with, or paws, whatever you call them. Where we got? Here we go. City water connection. In case you are at a campsite, you don't have to pull from the fresh water tank. You can plug in right here. This is where you drink or uh, flush your black tank. So you've got one built right onto the camper. Neat. Watch your head right here. Everything's easier to access while it's on the truck and the slide is in. On the back here, you're gonna see quite a few options that are not standard equipment like your backup camera, the rear power awning, the ultra deck, the generator. We're about to hit it all. All right, so this rear power awning does not have the auto wind sensing. You do need to be responsible enough to run this bad boy in and out when you're leaving. It has an LED light strip built in at the end of it that you can really light it up at night. I used it to kind of face it more towards the water so I could see the white tip on my fishing rod if I was getting a bite or not. Clever, right? Here is our pegboard door. Uh, it's seven inches deep. If I remember correctly, forget how tall it is, but it goes all the way up there. This is where I threw all my collapsible fishing rods and some pegs for tools and stuff. There you go. Give you a good old look at that. Would you look at that? License plate holder, important. The Ultra Deck is a nice add-on for this camper. It'll, you know, gives you so much more extra storage. These are not dry boxes. So do not put anything in here that you don't want to get wet. This is where I store my sewer hoses, um, my uh, power cord, uh, let's see, extension cords, and you know, water hoses, stuff like that. Stuff I didn't mind getting wet. This is where everything went. Dog food bowl, stuff like that. That's loud, ain't it? But uh, then you just let them drop and they slam latch. This right here, I've still not had a single authority out there at Lance tell me what this guy is. I'm thinking that it's uh, for your dog, maybe, to leash them up. Or I had somebody in the comments tell me that you could, you know, uh, use this as an anti-theft thing. Run a cable through it and through your bikes or whatnot, to, or kayaks, to keep people from stealing them. Help deter people from stealing them. And... This door right here is, oh, it's locked. All right, I won't yank on it. Anyways, uh, that's the generator door, what I was showing you over there. Oh, look at this, we're four season certified. I mean, yeah, we're four season certified. So you've got your uh, heated basement. That's gonna heat, as long as you have the furnace going, that's gonna heat your tanks and your water lines. And then we're certified green, go earth. Uh, backup cameras, uh, patio light, docking lights, running lights. You got all that back here. If you're, you know, looking at these in person, you can tell why these cost so much more than others. I mean, for instance, look at the beefy ladder. Who else is using this beefy of a ladder? They call this the fat ladder with a pH. All right, so here we are on the campground side, what I call. You've got the power side awning, that is standard. You don't have to pay any additional money that comes in the, you know, the uh, standard package. It has a uh, auto wind sensing on it, so if it gets too windy, it's gonna roll itself back in, and you have a nice LED light strip at the end of it to light things up at night. The mountain graphics are all standard, they look sick. I like how everything's got black accents on white. Looks completely wicked, so. Got our two onboard 20 pound propane tanks. He's got the gauges on. Oh yeah. Got gauges on both of them. Double gauged up. Got these magnetic holders for your doors, which is awesome. Uh, this right here is a nice, you know, little storage area for extra shoes or something like that. Whatever you want to throw in there. Got our external hand warmer right here. That's where the Truma Vario heat kicks out outdoor speaker so we can tick off the neighbors we've got our winterization valve right here and then you'll have another one leading to the tankless water heater and where's that pickup line? here it is you take this when you want to winterize it throw it in the pink stuff suck it on in 
But it's got ducted heat to it also if you see this guy. This is where you fill your fresh water tank. This right here is going to be your Truma AquaGo water heater. You got the filter off to the side here. It is winterized. Nice little pocket for it to keep it out of the way. If you want to make sure that you don't blow this out at you, always hit this right here to depressurize it. Pop that down and it'll pull this filter out. When you're ready to put it back in, you take that, throw it in there, shove it on in there and the gasket seals. Very neat system. Love it. Uh, I think I missed something back here. I did. You've got you an external propane source right here. Uh, hookups for the grill. And 110 outlets. And right here, this is a completely new door for 2023. I love it because used to, you had to know exactly what you were looking for to hit that other bypass. And you can easily access it through this door. You don't have to remove this panel anymore or you know, scrape your arm on sharp objects while reaching in here to grab this thing. It's all accessible from right here. Then, of course, you have access for the uh, lines and tankless heater too, so that's cool. Also, here at Fishing Fun, we started a new service. Me and the boss man teamed up. We are doing electric bike rentals for the campground stayers up there. You don't even have to be staying there. But uh, look at this. Some drunk guy hit our uh, sign the other day. He used it as a freaking bullseye. So, you know, $60 sign just all scratched up, but somebody did a heck of a zip tie job on this thing. That would be me. But um, yeah, they start out at $49.95 for a half day and go up from there. So if you're interested in that, give us a shout. I'll show you the bikes over here. This is what we have on the lot right now. Got the mountain bike style. It's a 48 volt, goes up to 20 mile an hour. All the other ones do. Also got a male style bike, female, and beach cruiser. Looks freaking wicked, doesn't it? But yeah, this is what I have on the lot right now to choose from. So that's our electric bike rental. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video as much as I did filming it. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Let's YouTube know that I know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch something like that. Um, if you have any questions, you can give me a holler at 423-892-6272. If you think that this is the camper for you, go ahead and give me a call. We'll hook you up. Like I said, this camper retails around, let me pick it up here real quick, $86,506. Uh, you're going to have to call in for BSRP pricing, Brad's suggested retail pricing. Um, if you are interested, I do have an email but i prefer to talk on the phone because i don't quote over email so uh yeah if you're serious in a camper i'm serious about selling to you so if this isn't the one that you want you got a smaller truck or something like that lance makes them for 250s and up so uh, go ahead and give me a call i'm sure that we can work something out and get you paired up with something nice uh, if you got a budget or a price range you're wanting to stay in just let me know we'll work with you so uh yeah, if you have any comments, give me a call. You can comment below. I try to respond to as many comments as I see. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so and join this Fish and Fun family. We just hit over 26,000 subscribers, which is awesome, guys. I really appreciate it. Never thought that I'd even see a tenth of that amount. So, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. All the support and everything. But uh, yeah, like I said, if y'all have any questions on the 975 or any other campers, just give me a shout. Until next, oh, I do have a surprise. I've got a camper coming. It's supposed to finish today, uh, May 4th. That's when I'm filming it, and that's probably when I'm up uploading this video. So it is supposed to finish today, so I should have it here within a couple weeks, I think. You know, due to shipping and everything, got to be patient on that too, I guess. But uh, I'm not going to give away the details of what I got. Some of you know, some of you don't. But uh, I will do a surprise video on what I have coming and definitely going to do a walkthrough of it and plan to do some videos with it. So stay tuned for that. If you want to, you know, keep up to date for my videos for some reason, you can hit the notification bell in the top corner. I think it's up there. I have no idea. Somebody said it is. Um, but if you do want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Brad's videos, uh, you can uh, hit the notification bell and it'll let you know when I post another video. Well, until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.